Have a... <clears throat> Well, you must be delighted coming here and getting a result like that on the display as well, of course. Yeah, I'm pleased. I mean, uh, it's a really difficult place to come. I know I had the best of times in terms of results recently, but it's going to be a difficult game for us. Any, any game away from home will be difficult for us. Um, really pleased with how we started the game. A little bit end-to-end, -end, but I thought we looked a real threat. I thought we played some good stuff. We were aggressive in our pressing. Um, we didn't want to sit off. And I thought we... Uh, we were obviously clinical with our set pieces. We had a couple of good chances before we scored the two goals. We looked a real threat from set pieces, which is great. Work hard on those. And um, to go 2-0 up then was obviously a little bit of new territory for us at this level. Um, and then they, they came into it. It was important for us to get in at 2-1. I think we could regroup a little bit. We had to make a change that was enforced. Um, we showed a lot of character and spirit in the second half to defend. In the end, reasonably, comfortably. I don't think Thomas had too many saves to make, to be honest. A lot of balls coming in the box, but we defended well. I was going to say, they were particularly satisfied. It weren't like you, you were clinging on at the end, though. You, like you said, you were reasonably comfortable. Yeah, we knew then at that stage where the game was going to be. You know, they were going to, they had momentum. They're chasing. We're obviously, you know, hanging on to that, uh, the victory. Um, so we were almost accepted where the game was going to be played, but I thought we, um, I thought we dealt with, with everything that was thrown at us really, really well. Really pleased with the whole squad because we had to say, make two changes on the back line, which is difficult. I thought Mads and Ted and coming in were, were great. Really pleased for them. Um, yeah, a really good day for us. I'm not going to get carried away. It's one victory, it's three points, and we've got a really tough game again on Tuesday. But you know, we need to enjoy the wins when they come. Thank you. Thank you. Just to come to with that first win. I mean. Yeah, I think it's good. It'll be good for belief and confidence, of course. Um, but I am, I've been banging on recently about our performances have been getting better and we've been a lot more in the games. I think Brighton away is a tough start. Chelsea away is tough. And we were, we were well beaten in the end. But we've grown, we've learnt, we've adapted and evolved in the, in the, you know, the games since. And, I think West Ham, although we didn't get anything, and Fulham, even though we didn't get anything we could easily have. And then Wolves, we did. And today we have. So I like the way we're progressing. We're not, not going to continue all the time. We know we're going to get setbacks and knocks. But we are evolving, we are progressing. And I like, um, I like what we're doing at the moment. The players obviously deserve the credit because they're committing to it. And, you know, they'll, they'll see it. They'll see a lot of the doubters and they'll see all the people, you know, will have their opinions. And I get that. I understand it completely. So... It's down to us to, to win games of football and get points to um, to show people that we deserve to be here. Also a great day for fans. Amazing day for the supporters. and They deserve it. Our board deserve it. Um, you know, they've really stuck stuck with us. And I know, I know they're going to because we're on a brilliant journey and where we have been and where the club has been. Um, they're going to enjoy this. But it's important that we give them something to shout about as well. And not just well done, lads. Unlucky. Um, we want to give them points to celebrate. So it's great that the last couple of games we've been able to do that. They're amazing supporters. I love them, um, and they've travelled a long, long way today in, in the rain, and and they get to enjoy their day. What did you feel like a bit after the final whistle? Yourself having the, you made history, and you were the first new manager to win a Premier League game. Or do you think about yourself in that suit or? No, I'm just very, very proud of the players and, and pleased for the club. And it's, um, I know it's a big moment. I, I, I get that, but uh, I don't want us. To, I don't want to, this to come across in any kind of arrogant way. But I expected us to today. I really did. I, I, I fancied us. I thought, told the boys before the game. I know this is going to be a good day. We really believed. And again, I, no, that's total respect. But I've believed that in all the games so far. Um, we really believed we could come here and win the game. We had a really good plan. Um, and, and, and Everton, you know, they're different. They've got some good players and they were very fluid as well, especially in that first half. And, you know, at 2-0 up then, they were, there was a lot of movement. There was a lot of stuff going on and we had to adjust, which we did at half-time. Then I thought we looked more solid again. And, um, yeah, I thought deserved it, but it, it felt great. I'm more pleased for the supporters. I'm more, I've just been desperate to get them something to shout about. 
Um, I'm really pleased the lads have, have done that today. What was it about your side, what you've seen from your side so far this season, and maybe Everton as well, that gave you the belief? Ten minutes of today's game. Well, I, I believed that we were going to go and beat Brighton away. <laughs> That's maybe a, you know I really did. But I think the fact that we have been improving. You know we've been in the games uh, against West Ham and Fulham, as I said. Last week was a dominant performance against Wolves. We've got really good players, and and it was a tough one. But I just felt today the styles would fit. I felt that we'd find some spaces. I felt we'd be able to cause them some problems, which we did in that first half, particularly. Um, Again, with that's all due respect, I know they've got some really good individuals and um, they can attack quickly, they can put balls in the box with some real physicality as well, but I feel that you know, we're normally quite good at dealing with that stuff. And in terms of the set pieces, you can touch on that a little bit there, but Evans were really strong in that aspect last week, I'm sure you watched that. Yeah. And what were you telling your players? in terms of the offensive side to maybe exploit some events. Yeah, we always do that. So we always have a plan and you know, we'll, there'll always be tweaks for every single game where we see we can expose the opposition and where we think they're strong to try and avoid. They've clearly got some height and a lot of presence in there, but we did feel that there was certain areas that we could target. On the flip side, we conceded from a second or third phase from a free kick as well, so they've still got that threat. Balls coming in the box. You know, Everton have got some monsters there that, you know, that can attack the ball and... Um, we, so we didn't deal with it well enough on one occasion where they scored the second phase after Thomas made the save. Um, but yeah, a lot of work goes into that and I can't take any credit for it. That's uh, that's the staff. It's, you know, it's Maka, Richie, Trolls, Pilks, uh, Dunny, like all the guys that, that, that put a lot of work and hours into those set pieces because you see today how valuable they are. All right. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Thank you.